we did the study and as are a part of the authentication uh, working group um, on the effect of uh, a stronger authentication on digital financial services. The idea here is we need to protect uh, financial transactions and the password on its own, it's weak and it's not good enough as a security mechanism for uh, preventing fraud and other account takeover and other stuff. So there are multiple ways to really get rid of the password. Uh, today in the industry, there isn't a standard definition of what passwordless authentication is. In so many implementations, the password is hidden where there is a cookie or a cache that act on behalf of, of the password. So the way they do it passwordless is by basically mimicking the uh, deployment or the entering of a password in, a in, in an interaction and the user does not have to re-enter the password. It's good for those techniques for uh, places where you have a small phone, small screen, the idea of um, uh, doing the password entry, it's, it's really not user friendly. A lot of those rely on the use of biometric on the devices like the Apple devices where it's just open a vault and inside there, there is a token that related to the password. Those solutions are really not good in general because the security risks as associated with the password are still present and they don't really solve the main problem that uh, victims of, uh, of phishing emails uh, do suffer. The problem with reliance on a password, whether you are uh, hiding it or not, is uh, in the ability that you could lose it if there is a phishing attack. And if you just disclose your password to some site, that uh, authentication using your credential is basically done behind your back and you are not aware of it. So um, the security of that system becomes a function of what the relying party has done to detect uh, such uh, activities. And in so many cases, the detection happened up after the damage has been done. So, you know, what you need is security solutions that eliminate the password and it rely on the underlying technology uh, in the ability to prevent phishing attack and replay attacks. And this is what we should uh, focus on. So within uh, the ITUT and uh, within uh, also the PG uh, SIT working group and the Stronger Authentication working group, we did focus on a core technology that's up and coming and it's becoming very well accepted. It's basically the FIDO uh, Alliance Technologies. The FIDO solution is a strong authentication solution that rely on PKI technology to ensure the uh, security of a logon uh, transaction and uh, this is up and coming and the way it is uh, pro uh, progressing nowadays it's uh, becoming a de facto standard and supported by almost every manufacturer whether it is at the browser level or at the mobile device level so the affordability of this solution is uh, up and coming because it's going to be cheap it's going to be ubiquitous it's going to be uh, out of the box supported and it, this will ensure that the cost of interoperability and adoption is low. This uh, FIDO is, is um, you know, there are two flavors of it. One is related to the web browser and it's called WebOSM. And there is uh, also the CETA protocol which uses um, a third device uh, or an external device to, to secure the you know, public private keys that are related to the uh, logon process. These are because they became IGT recommendations and they are also adopted. They are X.1277 and X.1278 and they are international standard. So this is one way of, uh, yeah, of um, promoting better security through passwordless uh, security and uh, using it in a way that's affordable because of mass adoption. A lot of the reports that came from the SIT um, got 
got uh, support, uh, it got submitted to the study group 17. Those reports are being incorporated in some of the recommendations, in particular those that are like some are related to decentralized identity, some are related to the stronger password type solution, and they are being done in the question that I could share. There is a new work item now in question 10, which is basically uh, 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 it, it focuses on main and methods for supporting uh, and ensuring that uh, passwordless authentication is, uh, is secure. So, you know, it, it discusses about uh, risks with pass of password, the history of passwords, how passwords are can be defeated, and currently what are the collection of solutions that claim to be passwordless, and also it go to, uh, um, uh, to stating what really need to be done to provide a true passwordless solution that is secure and uh, how, how, how to build it. So we are working on these new recommendations as we speak.